We love to drink it, but eating wine could be even better. That's according to UC Davis researchers. CBS 13's Valina Jones explains how wine waste may be the best medicine to fight major diseases. Vineyards, wine, and California go hand in hand. The state makes 85% of all wine in the U.S., producing nearly 4 million tons every year. While we sip and savor, food scientists at UC Davis found there's potentially a huge benefit from the grapes we're missing. We can give a second life to the grapes by doing the chemistry. Professor Daniela Barilla found processing residue like grape skin seeds and pulp can be reused by isolating sugar molecules in white grapes called oligosaccharides to help feed bacteria in your gut. We have really an epidemic of diabetes, obesity, uh, inflammatory diseases. All of those are linked in some ways to the gut microbiome. Along with the health benefits, it's about repurposing, giving second lives to grapes to avoid waste. There's a huge need to recover waste and especially waste that contain molecules that can feed the gut microbiome. Amanda Sinrod, graduate student researcher, breaks down the chemistry of the grapes, finding ways to harvest the nutrients. Some companies are already using their study to make things like chocolate and health supplements. And this is a great way to basically have a Cinderella story of taking this waste compound and turning it into a food that not only can feed people, but can make people healthier. To be effective, you'd have to consume around a few grams a day. While we can't pop the cork on all the benefits just yet, researchers say a time for a toast is not too far away. Getting this onto the shelves for consumers to eat could be the next best thing in wine. You can drink it, but you can also eat your wine too. Interesting. Typically, 30% of a grape's weight is wasted during the winemaking process. 30%. Researchers say it will take another two years to study how growing conditions and processing affects the potential health benefits.